day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we want to talk about the health benefits of the omega-3 fatty acids. You know, recently a study was released that said omega-3s do not help to prevent heart attacks. I found that incredulous. I, I couldn't believe what I was reading. So I decided to do some of my very own research. I reviewed the last 100 double-blind placebo-controlled trials on fatty acids, fish oil, omega-3 fatty acids, and heart disease and other conditions. And today I want to present to you the result of that exhaustive research project. 100 double-blind studies. We're going to go through them really quick. It'll be bang, bang, bang. You're going to learn a lot. And then we're going to go back to that study that said omega-3s do not help prevent heart disease. And let's see if we can't figure out what was wrong with the study because they were not telling the whole truth. That's our concept for today. It's the omega-3s in good health. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Heart attack risk has less to do with family history than once thought. Researchers from the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute selected over 700,000 patients from a genetic database containing information on some 23 million people. They found that coronary artery disease does occur in families. However, whether a person with coronary artery disease goes on to have a heart attack is determined more by their lifestyle traits than by their family history. The same research team overseen by the University of Pennsylvania has found at least 46 genetic mutations associated with coronary artery disease. Related research conducted at Northwestern University and published in Circulation Finds Adults in their 30s and 40s who drop unhealthy lifestyle practices can control and even reverse the progression of coronary artery disease. The study followed 5,000 young adults for over 20 years. And finally, from the University of Lincoln, researchers find that following a Mediterranean-style diet for just eight weeks shows health benefits a year later, even if the healthy way of eating has been abandoned. The study was published in Microvascular Research. Well, this is a most telling set of research news releases, isn't it? Here we learn that heart disease does run in families. However, having a heart attack is really more about what you do on a daily basis, what foods you eat, how often you exercise, how you deal with stress, how you supplement your diet. All of these and more count the most when determining whether you'll have a heart attack as compared with the health histories of your parents. We've also learned that just because you have stenotic plaques in your coronary arteries it does not necessarily mean you will go on to have an MI. Now we have known since the 1950s that even 18-year-olds may have plaques in their coronary arteries. But of course, 18-year-olds rarely have heart attacks. What is the difference? What determines whether a heart attack is in your feature if you have these plaques as most of us do? Well, it is your lifestyle practices, not your parents, that matter the most. Now, the key characteristics of the heart-sparing healthy lifestyle is that it calms inflammation instead of creating inflammation that would fan the flame resulting in a heart attack. And we also learned from a 20-year-long study that bad habits reversed pay big dividends in healthy arteries. And we learned that the Mediterranean style of eating complete with olive and fish oil along with nuts, seeds, vegetables, and fruit well, it's capable of showing health benefits even a year after abandoning the healthy way of eating. Americans are still consuming too many trans fats. Researchers from the American Heart Association reviewed six prior surveys involving over 12,000 adults. They found that trans fats intake has dropped by about a third, but it is still too high. They also found intake of health-promoting omega-3 fatty acids have held steady, but still below the level recommended by nutrition experts. The study was reported at Science Daily. Related research from the University of Hafe, republished in the Journal of Psychopharmacology, finds when smokers supplement omega-3 fatty acids, it reduces the number of daily cravings in cigarette smoke, even if the smoker did not want to stop smoking. From the European College of Neuropsychopharmacology, also reported at Science Daily, Researchers find that patients with major depressive disorder that do not respond well to antidepressants like Prozac, adding fatty fish or omega-3s to the treatment improves the response to antidepressants. The study also found those who did not respond well to antidepressants have altered fatty acid metabolism and stress hormone regulation that can be improved with omega-3 therapy. Folks, it's been estimated that some 30,000 Americans die every year due to cardiovascular disease induced by trans fats. So if our consumption is decreased by a third, that would mean this year some 20,000 will die. 
Now this number, although reduced, is still too high. Almost all the trans fats found in our foods are added by food manufacturers. The key to reducing your trans fat intake is reading food labels and not eating any food product that has added hydrogenated oils. When we replace trans fats with healthy oils like olive, walnut, or fish oil, it pays huge dividends. For example, smokers will find they have fewer cravings and they will smoke fewer cigarettes, even if the smoker isn't interested in stopping. We also find that those suffering from major depression who do not respond well to the serotonin reuptake inhibitors like Prozac or Zoloft, if we add fatty fish or fish oil to their diet, it helps to improve their depression. Well, today on Your Health, we'd like to discuss the omega-3s further. They are helpful for more than just the prevention of cardiovascular disease. They provide total body benefits. Stay tuned to learn more. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year. And and tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. Dr. Richard Becker for your health at a glance. More and more people suffer from asthma. One cause is obvious. The world is a polluted place and the air we breathe is not always healthy. But other causes of asthma aren't as obvious. Recent research connects a poor quality, high sugar diet and the frequent use of antibiotics to higher rates of asthma and cases of asthma that are tougher to treat. Fast food diet does not meet our nutritional needs. Plus, the indiscriminate use of antibiotics can seriously disturb the delicate balance of healthy microbes in our intestinal tract. So switch to a garden fresh diet that calms and prevents asthma. Eat fruit-like veggies such as tomatoes, cucumbers, and eggplant. Eat yogurt, ginger, turmeric, and take fish oil. Nature holds the answer, but it's up to us to make healthy choices. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. It is just such a great privilege to be with you today. Well, this is going to be quite an interesting show. We're going to be talking about the importance of omegas. And maybe some of the things that you have heard about the omegas isn't true. So, Richard, supplementing with omega-3s, I know, has changed a lot in my own health. Oh, my, yes. Yes. It's so important. It is very important. And recently, a very large uh, double-blind placebo-controlled trial found that taking fish oil, omega-3s, EPA, DHA, did not help to prevent heart disease in a group of 12,000 subjects. And this was released on the evening news. It made headlines all across the country. And when I saw this, 
I knew it wasn't right. Something had to be wrong with this because we have so much evidence, a preponderance of evidence, that the omega-3s do help to prevent heart disease. So what I did, I went to the research bank, to the library, to PubMed, and I drew up the last 100 double-blind placebo-controlled trials on omega-3s for any and every condition. Whatever the last 100 were, that's what I looked at. And I compiled the basic results of all of these. Now, out of these 100, some 85 of the 100 showed positive benefits. About 15 showed no help at all for various things. You know, omega-3s do not cure everything. They don't prevent everything. They have their limits, and scientists are trying to find the limit of value of the omega-3s. So, but the majority, some 80, 85 percent showed positive benefit. Now, let's go through those real quickly. Now, this list is somewhat complex and long, but just bear with me and get the overall drift of this, the, what we know about omega-3s and heart disease. First, the omega-3s, they reduce triglycerides, they reduce sudden death risk from heart disease, they delay cardiovascular disease death. If you've been diagnosed with cardiovascular disease and start omega-3s, your time till death will be prolonged. That's an advantage. Reduces myocardial infarction risk. It reduces plasma viscosity, red blood cell rigidity, and systolic blood pressure, thereby reducing inappropriate blood clot generation less likely to generate clots. Now your blood will clot when you need it to clot, but it won't clot just because you're sitting in a rocking chair for an hour or two, or in the airplane on a prolonged trip across the country. Omega-3s improve heart rate variability at rest and during stress tests by improved autonomic nervous system control of the heart. What we're saying here is the autonomic nervous system, the part of our brain and nervous system that controls organ function without us even thinking of it. You know, if you see a bear in the woods, you don't need to think, I, my heart needs to beat faster so I can run out of here. It happens automatically. When you take omega-3s, the brain and nervous system is better able to control functions of the heart. Okay, improves the risk of heart attack after stent placement. One of the biggest problems in placing stents is that in the coronary arteries is that they restenose quickly. If you take omega threes, that is reduced. The restenosis of a stent is reduced, and they identified the mechanism for that. It improves angina and cardiac syndrome X. This is a condition where there's no plaques in the coronary arteries. There's no stenotic plugs blocking blood flow. Apparently, the coronary arteries go into a spasm and cause angina. If you take omega-3s, it reduces the inflammation, lessening angina in cardiac syndrome X. Lessens the risk of stress-induced heart attack. You know, we live in a stressful world. We live with this every day. Mechanism identified. These are all the result of a double-blind placebo-controlled trial what we call the highest standard of evidence. The EPA component of fish oil reduces blood clots in men, and the DHA component reduces blood clots in women by reducing platelet aggregation. Reduces markers of inflammation known to predict high risk of sudden death due to heart attack. Calms the inflammation. We know it's been correlated from past studies. The higher inflammation, the more likely of a sudden death from a heart attack. Those parameters are calmed. Improves endothelial dysfunction in smokers. The reactive oxygen species, free radicals, the damage of smoking affects our arteries. It affects the brain center of the artery, and that's the endothelium. And when that occurs, it's called endothelial dysfunction. If you take omega-3s, it calms and soothes that down. The brain center, the endothelium, can better function under oxidative stress, like with smoking. It reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes even in seniors. If you've been given bad news seniors, you're at the cusp of heart disease, maybe diabetes, if you start the omega-3s, you can help to reverse those risk factors even if you're of age. 60, 70, 80, shown improvement even in elders. Improves the heart rate variability and chronic heart failure. Again, the autonomic nervous system controls the response of the heart to your need. This is a good thing. Heart rate variability is a good thing, and the omega-3s help that. Review of double-blind, placebo-controlled evidence. Omegas reduce the risk of fatal coronary heart disease and sudden cardiac death. This study found absolutely omega-3s prevent heart attack, heart disease, heart death. Reduces cytokines and markers of oxidative stress while they lengthened white blood cell telomeres. Telomeres are at the end of the DNA.
You can only reproduce those white blood cells if you have telomeres left. As those telomeres are used up, you can't make more white blood cells out of that white blood cell. So the omega-3s prolongs the lifespan of those white blood cells so they can replicate and maintain an immunity. You know, you have a carried immunity with you. A germ, say the flu from 20 years ago, you have memory cells that remember that. But if those memory cells die out, you're gonna have to fight that flu all over again. Taking omega-3s helps your long-term immune system memory. Isn't that amazing? It really is. I, this is the essence of good health here. Uh, reduces the risk of atrial fib after cardioversion. You have atrial fib, the top half of the heart is fluttering where it shouldn't. Many times we have to shock the heart and it'll put it back in normal rhythm. But some people, it slips back into AFib. If you start the uh, omega-3s, you're less likely to slip back into the irregular rhythm. If you add vitamin E and vitamin C to the, um, the post-op risk of atrial fib reduces. Vitamin C, vitamin E with omega-3s, post-op risk of atrial fib drops. How many Americans are taking warfarin and other anti-clot medicines at, at potential risk of side effects because of atrial fib? Wanting to prevent a heart attack, excuse me, stroke and heart attack, it can lead to a heart attack, but it's more often the stroke. We could reduce those numbers if everybody took a little omega-3s. Long-term use of omega-3 improved gene expression of anti-inflammatory pathways that may lead to heart attack in confirming study. In post-MI patients, not on statin, reduces the risk of a second heart attack. Not everybody can take statin drugs. If you've had a heart attack, taking the omega-3s reduces your risk. Now, that's the preponderance of evidence, and yet what got reported in the evening news was the large trial involving 12,000 patients. Omega-3s didn't help. Let's look at that study a little closer, and I think we can come to understand why it is actually misinformation. They're misleading us. What was the study really about? Here's what they did. They went to multiple family practitioners and they recruited 12,000 patients in Italy. Italy is the heart and the center of the Mediterranean approach to diet. They used one gram of fish oil a day to the experiment and they compared it to the effect of one gram of olive oil. Olive oil prevents heart disease too. The people in Italy already eat Mediterranean, all kinds of seafood, a lot of omega-3s, adding one third of a teaspoon, which is about a gram of omega-3s, isn't gonna make any difference, is it? They added it all up, sure enough, adding one gram to those who are already on a Mediterranean-style diet, it doesn't make any difference. They did not explain these details when they reported the study on the evening news. It was simply made to discredit fish oil. Now, who would do such a thing? Well, it's fully disclosed in the research, but how many Americans go to the original research and read who paid for that study? Could it be a statin manufacturer, a pharmaceutical drug paid for that study? Yes, it was. Do you see now why they report those kinds of studies on the evening news? So you'll buy the drugs and not use nature's remedies for prevention of disease. I think we all see from this list, omega-3s prevent heart disease. Let's go to our break when we return. We also have new studies on how omega-3s help the brain, things like depression, anxiety, the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Omega-3s when we return. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year. And Tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year.
I'm Dr. Richard Becker for your health at a glance. Are you looking for a way to lower your risk of Alzheimer's? As the prevalence of obesity and metabolic syndrome continue to increase, researchers have found a possible link between type 2 diabetes and the onset of Alzheimer's disease. In fact, type 2 diabetics are at 200% higher risk of Alzheimer's compared to people without diabetes. These metabolic changes that develop with diabetes appears to greatly increase the speed of deterioration of the brain and other related systems. Lowering your blood glucose is easier than you may think. Eat smaller meals, exercise regularly, and reduce carbohydrates in your diet, especially simple sugars. Taking steps today to control your blood glucose may protect your entire body, including your brain. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important, it protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone, talking about the importance of getting enough omega-3s in your diet and in your supplement plan. So, Richard, we've covered a lot. But now, when I think of the omegas, in addition to cardiovascular and some other elements, I always think of brain health. Absolutely. You know, anxiety, depression, uh, lowering your risk of Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases. These things we've known for a while. But in our search of 100 double-blind placebo-controlled trials on fish oil, we found some things about the brain and nervous system, how they can benefit there. Let's go to those. The omega-3s improve psychosocial behavior in adolescents with borderline personality disorder while reducing the risk of psychosis. Now, folks, please understand, one in 10, one out of 10 Americans is on, are on an antipsychotic, an antidepressant, some type of medicine that affects the brain, mood, behavior, etc. In our children, even though we do not study these drugs in children, are be giving these adult medicines for psychotic disorders at record numbers. I just have to ask the question, what percent of these poor kids really need omega-3s? How many would actually be spared this life if they just had omega-3s? Well, there's research going on to help us understand those numbers and find better ways to help these kids. And omega-3s are part of this, okay? In young patients at risk of psychosis, progression onto psychosis is decreased. There's less negativity in the kids, fewer psychiatric symptoms overall, while they improve their response to medicines if they need it. This is very important. Give them what they need nutritionally. There's no problem with taking nutrients with medicines. There are a few exceptions, but they're few and far between, and they're certainly not with the omega-3s. Here's the next one. They reduce the biomarkers known to represent the presence of beta amyloid in Alzheimer's disease. In other words, less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease. They improve memory and reaction time in healthy young adults who eat a poor diet. And most healthy young adult, adults do eat a poor diet. It's a fast food diet. They're not getting enough omega-3s. College students under great stress, even high school students trying to make the grade, it's tough. There's limited time in the day. We run to and fro. Our diet is compromised. Give these kids a little omega-3. Feed them some fish. Do them a favor. It calms them down. Their brains react favorably to it. They rest better, less stress, less anxiety. It improves depression scores in depressed senior women. It improves short-term and working memory, immediate verbal memory, and delayed recall capability in seniors with mild cognitive impairment. It's a, an essential component of the complete holistic plan that we recommend you implement 
when you're first diagnosed with the very earliest signs of mild cognitive impairment that could go on to dementia. We now know you can reverse this in the majority. We've had guests on our show. Dr. Braverman is a classic example. Brilliant physician who's figured out ways to help the majority go back to normalcy. Even if you've been diagnosed with early cognitive impairment, this is the first signs of uh, dementia. It can be reversed. It's worth the effort to try. And omega-3s are part of that. That's my point. Let's see. Improves ADHD and DSM-4 scores. You know, attention deficit and, um, and inattention and hyperactivity in adolescence with, with attention deficit hyperactive order disorder. EPA component of fish oil provides greater improvement in depression scores, improving reading skills and behavior in underperforming kids. Over time, it also improves the uh, response to Ritalin. How many kids get put on Ritalin and they're scratching their heads? It's not helping. He's still disruptive in class. Add the omega-3s to it and you're going to see a difference. This is just from the last 100. We have many others. But the, some of the most important is delayed, uh, reduced risk of the neurodegenerative disorders. Less risk of Parkinson's, less risk of Alzheimer's and all the various forms of dementia. And if you should be struck with these diseases, your progression is slowed with omega-3 therapy. Okay. Now, let's talk about obesity and diabetes. If we take omega-3s, fish oil, higher doses, say seven grams a day, that's what this study showed, improves the weight loss and the measures of inflammation in obese adults on a weight loss diet. One of the classic symptoms of low omega-3s is lack of satiety, meaning I eat my meal and I'm not satisfied. I need something oily. I need something salty and oh, let's get some chips and snack on them. Well, you know what's going to happen when you have the chips and the soda. You're going to gain weight. What your body's craving is omega-3s. Classic sign of omega-3 deficiency is I can't get, I can't eat enough. I crave stuff. I want more food. Take the omega-3s, and it helps with your weight loss. This is what they found in that study. Reduces superoxide, free radicals, and diabetes. You know, diabetic complications. Very profound, very inflamed. Uh, when blood sugar is high, you create free radicals that does damage to your microvasculature. Taking omega-3s help to negate that damage. Reduces overall inflammation in diabetes. Reduces inflammation in sedentary, overweight, middle-aged, and up adults. Reduces ventricular arrhythmia after MI in diabetes. Calming, soothing. That's what I think of with uh, omega-3s. How about obstetrics and gynecology? This is the last 100 double blind. The omega-3s decrease PMS scores by decreasing depression, nervousness, anxiety, lack of concentration, bloating, headache, and overall pain and effect improves with time. I'm thinking of the young girls, uh, high school, college age, the periods can be tough. They miss time from school and from work and, and recreation and fun times due to dysmenorrhea, painful periods. Please add a little omega-3, a little vitamin D, a little magnesium, curcumin, and give them a month or two. You're gonna see an improvement. Most will not need to go on birth control pills to control their periods. Give the body what it needs. You can make a profound improvement in the dysmenorrhea, the painful periods. That alone is enough. Lessens the need for pain medication in dysmenorrhea. Improves insulin sensitivity and lipid profile in polycystic ovary syndrome. PCOS, a leading cause of infertility. You can help improve this with omega-3s. Glucose levels and insulin resistance is improved. DHA given to mother improves fetal heart rate variability and newborn neurobehavior. You know, the brain is 70% fats, lipids, and oils. Our nation in general is deficient in omega-3s, and it's affecting our babies. If we supply mother during pregnancy with omega-3s, even baby improves. And there's a whole long list of benefits from previous research, but we just, from this study, it's neurobehavior. DHA supplementation during the last half of pregnancy leads to longer gestation and larger baby size. And this is the good baby size. We're trying to prevent newborns that go off to the neonatal nursery because they're underweight. Too much sugar, too much weight gain for mother, that's weight gain we don't want in babies. That's gestational diabetes. But it, the omega-3s help to prevent preterm delivery. And this is a very, very good thing. Maternal 
DHA supplementation, a component of fish oil, leads to improved infant sleep later on. How many new mothers up all night because baby doesn't rest well? They're out of the sleep cycle, they're not getting the rest, they're disjointed, and everybody is exhausted. Supplement your fish oil during pregnancy, and that problem is reduced remarkably. Let's go to our break, and we have a few other various effects from the omega-3s when we return. They're amazing. Stay tuned for it. You'll learn something. Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year and tell Tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. Dr. Richard Becker, and this is your health at a glance. Do you take medication every day without noticing any side effects? Well, new research finds that many of our most popular medicines, when taken over a long period, rob our bodies of precious nutrients. For example, statin drugs for cholesterol deplete CoQ10. Acid blocking drugs such as the proton pump inhibitors lower magnesium and vitamin B12. Gabapentin for seizures and chronic pain depletes vitamin D. And hydrocodone, a narcotic for pain, lowers melatonin levels, which can disturb sleep. These are all top 10 medicines in America. If you are taking a daily prescription medicine, talk with your doctor about a vitamin and mineral deficiency as a side effect. For your health, at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. We're back, everyone, talking about the importance of getting the omegas in your diet. And to help you get those omegas, I have to tell you, you know, this is the holiday savings time at BioInnovations, the best prices of the season, and free shipping on orders over $50. Of course, that's the mainland USA, but don't miss out on that. It's a good time to stock up on those omegas. Now, Richard, there's a yes. lot more conditions. Mm -hmm. We call it the various effects, but there's just, there's so many more conditions that can be helped by supplementing with the omegas and getting enough in your diet. Yes, men, of course, are concerned about their PSA levels, and one of the studies showed that omega-3s reduce PSA levels in healthy men. Now, recently, a study, it was really more an editorial and a physiologic study, suggested that it could be possible that omega-3s increase the risk of prostate cancer, and, of course, that's the one that makes the evening news. Well, this is an absurd notion, and I'm going to give you a piece of evidence, and once you hear it, I think you'll agree with me. The Inuit 
natives, the people of the far north, they rely on a marine-based lipids and fats, which are the omega-3s, for a very large percent of their diet. They consume multiples grams of omega-3s every day, 30, 40, 50. If omega-3s cause prostate cancer, the men of the Inuit nations would have among the highest prostate cancer rates in the world because they eat more than anybody on the planet. Most years, not one single man among the Inuits has prostate. Most years, none is reported. They have actually among the lowest rates of prostate cancer on the planet. That fact alone tells you that, that uh, omega-3s, they don't cause prostate cancer, they help to prevent. And when you understand the inflammatory mechanism that may result in prostate cancer and how omega-3s calm that inflammatory reaction, it's just absurd to tell people that. It's just not true. We know that omega-3s reduce PSA levels in healthy men. It decreases the itch of chronic kidney disease, and it helps those on renal dialysis improve their antioxidant status and their inflammatory markers on renal dialysis. Various effects, sickle cell disease, you know this is an abnormality of the hemoglobin molecule in sickle cell in children and in adults if, as they grow up. We found in, from this study that if you give people with sickle cell disease, omega-3, it reduces vaso-occlusive events. This is a sickle crisis, as it's called. It reduces severe anemia. It reduces blood transfusions. It improves white blood cell counts while they improve school attendance in sickle cell patients. This is amazing. And it's because of the effect on the membrane of the, of the red blood cell. It's all been explained. Here's the next one. Omega-3s reduce taxol-induced sensory nerve neuropathy in the therapy of breast cancer, reduces inflammation of the lung in uh, asthma by modulating oxylipins. They've, they explained, this is an amazing study. They looked at some 87 different molecules involved in asthma progression, and the omega-3s help to calm asthma. Omegas with the carotenoids, lutein, and astaxanthin improve and install age-related macular degeneration, reduce CRP, measures of inflammation, prove the symptoms of a Renaud's disease, cold tolerance, vasospasm and pain. If you have it, you know all about it. Omega-3s will help you, as will ginkgo biloba. Reduce the pain medication use in overweight rheumatoid arthritis patients. That's it for the 100 double-blind placebo-controlled. It was quite an effort to get all this for you, and I hope that you found something that would help your health condition. Omega-3s. Now, Let's do a little quiz real quick before we go to our next break. Could it be possible you're low in omega-3s? Many Americans are. Take this quiz. Here we go. If you answer yes to the question, give yourself a point. Do you have dry, itchy skin, particularly in the winter? Do you notice that it's quite bad in the winter? Do you have brittle hair or nails? Do you find that your wounds, the little nicks and cuts, they heal poorly, take too long to heal? Do you have clotting issues? Problem, do you bruise really easily? Do you have muscle loss? Are you weak? Do you have high blood pressure? Do you have high triglycerides and told perhaps that you're pre-diabetic? Do you have trouble with arrhythmias of the heart? Poor circulation? Is there a family history of cardiovascular disease? Have you been told you have cardiovascular disease? Do you have a history of a heart attack? History of many strokes? How about ADHD? You know they're diagnosing this now in adults. The kids grow up to be adults with ADHD. If that's you, give yourself a point. Are you plagued with chronic depression? The mood is off over and over again. Can't seem to get it right. Are you troubled with anxiety and irritability? This is among the most common symptoms associated with omega-3 deficiency. Anxiety, irritability, fatigue and stress. It just wipes you out too much. Worsening or changing of your vision. Craving fatty foods, lack of satiety. My diet is not fulfilling. I keep wanting to go back and eat classic sign of omega-3 deficiency. Constipation, low fertility, and particularly men, joint pain, weak bones, osteoporosis, chronic inflammatory condition. These are things that end in itis, you know, arthritis, bronchitis, colitis, things that are inflamed. This is a classic sign again of omega-3 deficiency. That's a point. Do more than 50% of your meals come from outside your home or from prepackaged fast food type of environment. Add up your marks, how'd you do? One or two points, that's not too bad. 
you're probably a pretty good converter. You can convert into omega-3s well. If you have three to five, medium likelihood, you probably should start. You need to do some change, eat better, add the omega-3s, eat more fish, supplement omega-3s. If you have six or more marks, you better start taking omega-3s immediately. No medicine will counter your deficiency state. Well, folks, omega-3s. I take them, so should you. Cindy takes them. And those who know the most about omega-3s take them as well. Let's see some calls. Let's talk to someone when we return. We'll be right back. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Christian counselor Dr. Henry Brandt wrote, to dwell above with the saints we love, that will be grace and glory. But to live below with the saints we know, well, that's another story. Throughout our lives, we encounter difficult people. These souls challenge the best of us. But the Apostle Paul suggested that we maintain our grace in spite of the actions of others. Paul wrote, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Paul acknowledged it may not be possible in all cases, but we should still do our best. Try to look at difficult people through Christ's eyes. Remember his sacrifice was for everyone, even those saints we know who challenge us. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year. And tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. We're back, everyone. Let's go to the phones now and see if we can help someone out there. Let's go to California and welcome Keith to the show. Hi there, Keith. Hello, Cindy. How are you? Great. How are you doing, Keith? Good to hear you from Hi, California. How, how's life in California? It's wonderful. We're having a beautiful day today. Oh, good for you. Good, good, good. What's on your mind, Keith? How can we help you? I wanted to ask you if I could get a little bit more help in something that has come up in about the last three and a half to four years. Uh, I was going to a medical doctor for nutrition. He told my white cell was looking on, unnatural, that I should go back to my HMO and have him check it. Yes. I'm now going to an oncologist, ICLL, yes. which is uh, chronic lymphocytic uh, leukemia. There you go. I can't pronounce it. Uh, it's, a, it it's the most common form of leukemia. And uh, it also provides a lengthy lifespan for most. It can be managed and, and you can be here for quite a few years. How, but, so your blood picture is doing pretty good, yes? It is. I, I was at 14,000 white cells when they first checked me and now it's running 11 to 12,000. 
Okay. But are there any other health? Are there any other health conditions that may complicate this? Because if there are, you're more likely to slip back into the leukemia pattern. I am overweight. I would like to lose about 35 or 40 pounds. Okay. Um, and you, I'm not exercising enough to do that. Are Are you taking vitamin D? I am. How much? Uh, Five thousand. Good. How long have you been doing this? Um, probably two years. And how long have you known about the leukemia? About three and a half. Okay. You know, Keith, it is likely that you're under control because of your vitamin D therapy. What do you think of that statement? That makes wonderful sense. Who told you about vitamin D? Uh, we picked it up on your show. My wife records every show. You mean your, onco your oncologist never said anything to you about vitamin D? No. Oh, boy, that's sad to hear. I'm sad to hear. But you know. The important thing is that you know. How is the diabetes doing? Uh, it seems to be under control. We were actually given uh, metformin for okay. a pre-diabetic condition. Obviously, we are diabetic, but uh, we're not noticing the effects of diabetes with the metformin keeping it under control. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. One thing, a couple things about metformin, it de can deplete your magnesium and your vitamin B12 levels. Both of those will lead to troubles, and the magnesium deficiency is absolutely linked to worsening diabetes and heart disease, uh, depression, things you don't want to have. So here's what I would do. I would continue that vitamin D therapy. I would ask for a vitamin D blood level the next time you go in for a checkup. I would like to see your vitamin D level about 60 to 70. Most people, we want it around 50. But if you are a cancer patient, there are some added benefits if we can get it up to 60, 70. I wouldn't try to go higher than 70 because at 80, we begin to see high calcium levels. 100, we begin to see heart arrhythmias, and you don't want that trouble. So if you can get it about 60, 65, I would be thrilled. And you're taking about 5,000 a day, did you say? Yes, I am. Well, it's going to take a little more than that to get it to 65, but get your blood level tested. Uh, I suspect you'll need around 8,000 a day to maintain a 60-65 level, but that remains to be determined. That's typical, though. The next thing, uh, probiotics. The intestinal flora plays a major role in the immune system. Remember, 70, 75% of your immune system is in your gut. The bacteria in your intestine dictates immune tone. Next, omega-3s. I would take at least three or four grams a day. I would take a, a high-potency multiple vitamin and mineral. And the one I would like to see you take is the green label multiple vitamin and mineral because it has a full doses, full two or three doses of cruciferous vegetables in every serving of the multiple vitamin and mineral. Let's boost up your magnesium intake because we're using metformin to control diabetes. I want to give you magnesium chelate. Take at least two of those every day. I want to give you some magnesium gel. Keith, do you have, ever, have, ever have trouble with headaches or uh, muscle cramps or fatigue, anything like that? Uh, occasionally a muscle cramp, and I was just thinking because I'm such, uh, such a tall person, I've got really long legs, uh -huh. and I thought, well, maybe it's my, uh, just a long muscle stretching. Okay. I wake up in the, uh, with a muscle cramp in my leg. Well, that can be absolutely related to magnesium. The classic magnesium sign is a twitch in the eye. You know, the eyelid twitches. That is classic magnesium deficiency. And understand, most people think potassium when they get a leg cramp. But did you know if you're low in magnesium, you will not be able to control your potassium? So frequently, the potassium's low, but the real culprit, what really fixes this scenario is bringing up the magnesium, then the potassium will follow on its own. So magnesium is at the root of many of our cramps. Uh, medicinal mushrooms, cordyceps sinensis, these are immune system activators. They are members of the fungal world. If that bothers you, I would take beta-glucans, extracted beta-glucans. There are true benefits to the medicinal mushrooms, and I think you would benefit from that. I want to send you the medicinal mushrooms. Uh, I would like to see you engage in the Mediterranean diet. You know, olive oil does wonders. We don't have time to go into it. Uh, four ounces a day of olive oil reverses heart disease. Three ounces will um, prevent heart disease. 
diabetes, has greatly increased risk of heart disease. A little alpha lipoic acid, chromium picolinate, and milk thistle for the diabetes. And I want to send you foundations for healing so you can read and learn about the holistic approach to the treatment of cancers, the nutritional support for the cancer patient, for the diabetes, and you can create an integrated plan that will help assist in your quality of life and leave you better suited and prepared to fight cancers of any type. Uh, Keith, thank you for your call. Our best wishes to you. Let's go to our break. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year and tell a friend about the savings. Or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy New Year. I'm Cindy Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Did you know the typical baby born in America today has over 200 foreign chemicals in their bloodstream? The world is a polluted place, but just how polluted may come as a surprise. Health experts report that pollution plays a major role in the development of ADHD, obesity, cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, and a wide variety of cancers, including prostate and breast cancer. There are safe and simple steps you can take to lower your exposure to chemicals. Eat an organic, pesticide-free diet whenever possible. Be careful with the home use of chemicals. Don't consume fish that may be contaminated with mercury. Have your water supply tested for purity and add house plants to lower indoor pollution levels. By taking a few basic steps, we can protect ourselves from disease-causing pollution. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Have you heard about the health-promoting power of medicinal mushrooms? These remarkable mushrooms include mayatake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM. The medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Mushroom Complex with Mayatake, Shiitake, Rishi, and ABM in one convenient product. Our mushroom complex features the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, providing natural support for a variety of health conditions. Bio Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Your Health is brought to you by BioInnovations. Trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back. Just a reminder, everybody, it is holiday savings time at BioInnovations. Great prices. I mean, the best prices of the season. And free shipping on your order over $50. Of course, that's in the mainland USA, but a great time to get what you need to stay healthy for this cold winter season. Well, I, you know, when we think about getting enough omegas in our diet, we always think of going to fish, don't we? But then so many of us are concerned about the mercury in the fish. We don't want to get that either. So what are we supposed to do? Right. So Richard, let's talk about which fish are the best to get your omegas from. And is it even safe to eat fish? Well, a couple of guidelines, rules of thumb to go by. If the fish has a small mouth, it means they do not uh, live very long. It tends to be a correlation there, such as salmon, herring, sardines, tuna, uh, some type of tuna, mackerel, trout. These fish that live a short life. You know, salmon, the longest lived salmon is seven or eight years. Most of them three, four years at most. That's not long enough time to accumulate high levels of mercury. Some fish do live a long time, such as shark, 
swordfish, marlin, ray, gemfish, tilefish, orange ruffy, these large, they can be huge, you know, and live 50, 70, 80, 100 years. Uh, some fish, we really don't know how long they can live, and they can accumulate high levels of mercury in their tissues, and of course, that we should not eat on a regular basis. The occasional serving of swordfish is fine, but if you're in a pattern of every week, two or three times a week, you're going to have trouble with that fish eventually. And those are not my word. That is a large Harvard study that pronounced. They also said in this study, it is so important for pregnant mothers to have omega-3s that they should ingest about a gram a day, maybe a little more, a gram and a half a day of fish oil or eat fish twice a week. And your best choices there would be salmon. If I could only have one food for my omega-3s, it would be the oily, abundant omega-3 salmon uh, meat. That is just outstanding. And, you know, it, this is a point. A nice big serving of salmon, you make it 8, 10 grams of omega-3s in that. That's outstanding. That's wonderful. That's what you want to do. The next question we get frequently is, what about vegetarian sources of omega-3s, such as walnut oil, flaxseed oil, uh, avocado oil, uh, soybean oil. All of these have alpha-linolenic acid. Excuse me, alpha-linolenic linolenic acid. And we do have the ability to convert ALA into EPA and onto DHA. The research we went through today focused on the health benefits of EPA and DHA hyposectanoic acid and docosahexanoic acid, the components of fish oil. The vegetarian sources do not have EPA and DHA in it, but our bodies convert kind of. And as a general rule, we're poor converters. So we do know that you get more benefit from the fish oil components, EPA and DHA, less so from the vegetarian sources. But I understand your commitment to being a vegan or vegetarian. You would use flaxseed oil would be a good source. You know, one of the compromises would be borage seed oil, which converts to the EPA and DHA. Borage seed is a vegetarian product. Uh, and primrose oil has a little bit that can convert. We're more efficient in converting over. Well, Cindy, you've provided our, our viewers with a, quite a variety of omega-3s that they can choose from. The fish oil complex, and please understand the fish oil complex has extra DHA. You want that high component DHA for brain and heart protection, EPA and DHA. It's, it's spiked. It's added to it. We also have flaxseed oil, the omega-369, which is a combination of fish oil, borage seed oil, primrose oil, and flaxseed oil. It's the balance of the omegas. That's a wonderful product, and it helps a lot of people balance out their omega-3s. We have omega-3s for kids, people who can't swallow pills, their gummies and chewies. Whatever you need, we've got it. Folks, the omega-3s are critical for your health. And when you look at the preponderance of evidence, they do help prevent heart disease. There's no doubt about it. Don't fall for that stuff you see on the evening news. Learn the truth right here. Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you. I'm Laura Harris-Smith, and hasn't our new season discussing the nation's election proven timely? We said from the beginning it wasn't over, and it wasn't. We said it would go to the Supreme Court, and it has. This week on The Three, you're going to get your typical weekly digest of the latest news updates, as well as the latest prophetic ones. What are the courts saying? But most importantly, what is God saying? Democrat or Republican?